I surrender. Sorry for calling you a brat earlier. I'm Ibrahim of Hisar. Who are you? Mammoth of the Tigril clan. Fasol Three, the Hadid Viceroy. Here they come! The Esemi Oglan! This year's dev germ was a great success, huh? They must be on their way to the military school, where they'll be whipped into shape for a year. How promising. I want to be a Pasha as soon as possible. That boy at the head, wasn't he top of the class? What? Really? He's so young. Actually, just how old is he? That's what I thought. Twelve? Whew, he must be what you call a prodigy. Psh, prodigy? Give me a break. That guy never tries to make conversation. Even at meals and at night, he only pays attention to his bird. Wars are being fought in places beyond my reach. And yet, when it comes to training, he gets super gung-ho and starts barking orders. So what if he's got talent? I didn't want to just sit by. I can't stand that condescending attitude of his. Ha! Huh. He probably thinks he's better than us. As the people I hold dear were taken from me. Ali and Isaac, take the left. Bora and Orin, take the right. I'll take the front. We'll surround the black team's captain from three directions. I want to become Pasha as soon as possible. Okay, let's not repeat the last time. If we all act alone, we'll squander our chance at victory. Think carefully before you attack. Hey! Huh. We have our own ideas too, you know. Don't think that your way is the only path to victory. What? But the only ones who can make that happen are the talented few. If you become Pasha, forget about a four-man unit. You'll be in charge of thousands of troops. What if I don't have what it takes? Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. Someone like you who can't even lead four of his comrades has no chance at standing at the top. I could feel myself buckling under the pressure and stress. Dummy, how could you break a bone in a Syriot match? If you'd have just given up, the other guy wouldn't have. Mm. Mm. Are you crying? Uh. Do you think I'm really not cut out for this, Ibrahim? If I can't even lead four people, is becoming Pasha impossible for someone like me? Nah, that's got nothing to do with it. Putting aside whether you're cut out for it or not, for me anyway, I wouldn't want the new Vali of Hisar to be someone who didn't have the drive to work their hardest for the position they wanted so much. The same goes for the Pasha, right? Do you have any idea how grateful I am to you? Ibrahim. This is our last night together. Tomorrow we'll all be going our separate ways. It's because of what you said that day. Oh, come on, drink with us for once. That I'm... What? You, don't let him drink that, you idiot! Ah, oh, relax. You want a drink too, don't you, Iskandar? Standing here as Pasha today. 
What happened, Ibrahim? You're not the kind of person who would put your own hometown in danger on purpose. The question is... How do we get inside, right? Actually, I have a suggestion for that. Huh? Sorry. Mammoth. Hisar Shurtabash, Tribune Commander. Shapka Ibrahim Vali. Iskandar. Hmm. Meanwhile, at the Imperial Capital, a revolt began early today at Turkey's border town of Hisar. It seems Ibrahim Vali worked with the Araba and declared independence. I suggest we deploy our troops and station them around the city under the pretext of safeguarding the Araba immediately. His Imperial Majesty, Goldbolt XI. If we appear to make an effort, not only will the Empire gain international support, but we can also essentially make Hisar Imperial territory. Balt Rain Imperial Minister Virgilio Luis. Turkey isn't run by fools. They won't sit by and wait for our forces to arrive. True. Even if we were to send St. Michael's permanent guard now and assemble all the troops scattered around the border, we'd never make it in time. However, it just so happens the revolt took place in the Middle Turkey's annual Bayram festival. Under those circumstances, it'll take time for them to form a siege party. Their forces won't reach Hisar for at least two more days. Furthermore, it just so happens that since yesterday, an army led by Duchess Lele Derek, comprised of 10,000 troops, has been training in the mountains a mere day's march from Hisar. I would like to ask the Highness's permission to light the signal fire come morning. It would seem quite a few convenient coincidences have piled up in the Empire's favor. I'm sure this is all due to our founder, St. Michael's Divine Protection. You're free to enter. Hisar Citadel Grounds. So this is our new home. You couldn't prepare anything but women's clothes? Yeah, right. But the fact that they let us in so easily after seeing that note tells me there really is another side to the surprising. Huh? Huh. Taking hostages. How dirty can you people be? If something happens to my mother or sister, I swear. I'll kill every last one of you! Do you hear me? Enough! Huh? We've all had family taken hostage. Besides, even though we were tricked, it was Ibrahim Vali's decision to work with the Araba. All we can do is obey. Get moving. Your friends are in the plaza just up ahead. Pardon me. So, I have your word then? If we do as you say, you'll escort all our families to the capital safely? Hmm, yes, that. 
I can promise you. It pains me to do this to you all, but... To build a country, to bring together our scattered brethren, and live as one people again... is the Araba clan's century-long dream. Fufu, oh you Turks, what a carefree bunch. The Araba Traveling Circus invites soldiers and their families to watch special performance for free on the second night of Sheikr Bayram. Out of a thousand soldiers, not a single one thought anything was suspicious about that and had their families taken hostage so easily. Even the valley didn't suspect a thing. While a suspicious bunch was moving in and out of the city, you were off enjoying the festivities. It must be nice to have a peaceful upbringing. I see. Everyone's families are being held in that tent, right? The smell. Oil. Huh? I'm willing to bet that tent is completely soaked with oil. Hmm? Just one spark, and the entire thing will go up in flames. What? The Araba aren't that cruel! They'll realize there are powers in this world that can make even a virtuous man like Ibrahim start an armed rebellion. At any rate, we need to get closer. Hey, we've got trouble! Huh? 2000 Zira to the southeast. An army led by Zagonos Pasha of Turkey is quickly approaching the city! What? The, this isn't what we agreed on! Huh? I thought there was to be no fighting! Hmm... This changes nothing. All we have to do is wait quietly until the Imperial Army arrives. Do you understand, Ibrahim Vali? All right, until the Imperial forces get here, we won't let the Zaganos army step one foot into the citadel. In return, Promise me that you'll see the hostages out of the city safely. Hmm, looks good on you. Sorry, Mammut. What was that about? Does Ibrahim want to die? I won't let that happen. They'll come at us at full force once the siege weapons are set up. All units, ready your boats when the morning star rises. Wait until they're 100 zero away, then fire at once. An army of 4,000 regular soldiers, commanded by Zagonos Pasha. Talk about unmatched. We don't stand even a 1 in 10,000 chance of winning. Take the only armed Shurta remaining at Hisar, and stage an armed revolt. Whoever planned this is very cunning. But with only 1,000 men under Ibrahim's command, 
The city will fall in less than a day. The real issue is the Imperial Army who will undoubtedly use this opportunity to intervene. The Araba are a clan that mostly live in the Empire. For even a portion of that clan to declare independence inside Hisar. I can only assume the Empire means to enter the Citadel under the guise of protecting its serfs. And for that purpose, I'm bored. Hey boy, join me for a game of chess, won't you? The Imperial Army must reach Hisar before Turkey at any cost. Someone who would make a plan this elaborate wouldn't utilize the regular Imperial Army. Which would take too long to get here but would take advantage of the contract with the Emperor protecting the right to move troops freely within one's own domain and use the armies of lords around the border to steal the march on us. Checkmate. However, not a single Imperial soldier has arrived yet. A valiant effort, but victory is mine. Siege troops will take breaks on rotation until dawn. Ibrahim Vali, you and your men will die for your country. Those fools at the Divan need a strong dose of medicine in order to open their eyes. Engineers, you have until then to construct the siege tower. Hisar will fall before the sun sets. Make way, orderly, orderly. A huge man of Araba's clansmen have crossed the border and are approaching. They number over 40,000. <laughs> 